The PAL World community has spoken and you guys have said one of the hardest things to farm in PAL World are PAL Souls. Luckily for you guys, I took it upon myself to find the easiest, fastest, and most efficient way to get small souls, medium souls, and large souls. We went ahead and did the testing and found something very secretive that's hidden in the game that will enhance the ability of you being able to get the souls as quickly as you possibly can. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about how you will be able to get each individual soul and what is the most effective way to get each and one of them because it varies. In Pal World, there are three different ways of you being able to get the Pal Souls. Number one is by defeating bosses, aka doing dungeons in the correct regions, which I'll show you guys in the map just a little bit. Number two is by opening chests once again in the correct regions. And number three is by you guys finding the actual pals that drop the souls. So let's go ahead and explain the map real quick so you guys can get a rough idea of what we're talking about. So in Pal World, guys, there are different sections in the map, like you're here seeing this image, that are basically designated based on the number or the level of that pal. The theory here is anything below 30 will give you small souls. So anything that you either kill in the region or a chest that you open within these regions, you will be able to get a small soul. Now there is a more effective way of doing this, which I'll explain a little bit later in the video, but this is just one of the methods. Now, anything that's 35 or I would say 30 and 40 or higher uh, will be able to give you medium souls. And once again, anything that's 40 and higher will award you large souls. Now, the question is, what is the most effective way to do it? All right, so let's get started with the small souls. Now for the small souls, guys, there are once again methods of doing it, but I found that the easiest and fastest and most effective method of getting these are by doing a two-way system. Now, the way this works is you wanna go ahead and since theoretically you're killing a bunch of stuff as you start the game and progress, you should be able to get these small souls really easy. You shouldn't have a problem with it. Now, the one thing you wanna know is if you are trying to farm these, you gotta know that there are one, two, three, four, five, six different sets of pals that are able to drop souls when they die. Now, the secret thing that I mentioned earlier in the video is the fact that not every single pal has the same opportunity of dropping the pal souls. There are certain pals that only have a 1% chance of dropping the pal souls, ones that have the 15% chance of dropping them, ones that have 40% chance of dropping them, and ones that have 100% chance of dropping them, and knowing which pals these are, are gonna make your grind that much easier. So if you're looking for small souls, you have a couple pals to pick from. You have Daydream, you have Nox, you have Cognito, you have Moraith, you have Tombat, and Felbat. Now, if you're trying to get small pal souls, what you wanna do is forget about everybody else and just focus on Nox. He has the highest probability of being able to drop pal souls. He has a 40% chance of actually dropping them. The problem is that he only comes out during the nighttime and it could be a bit of a problem finding him. So what you wanna do instead of actually hunting around for him, you wanna set up a farm and you actually wanna breed them. So you wanna make sure that as you're starting playing the game, you get this going so you can have enough puzzles to increase the rate of you being able to do more damage within the game. So this is gonna be very important. So the combo I used to actually, you know, make sure to breed them is use the two pals that I feel that feel that are very easy to find early in the game. One is Lambo and one is Melpaca. Once you guys put these two together, you are gonna be able to get some Nox babies. And all you gotta do guys is just accumulate a bunch of Nox babies. And the great thing about this is that once you go ahead and you know, you kind of just chop them up just a little bit, he will be able to drop you some pals. Now remember, this is only a 40% chance of dropping him. So think about 50-50. So if you do 10, you're gonna get five pals. Now, of course, the you know, you wanna combine this with looting chests, fighting bosses, progressing through the game, because this will all add up. Now, small pals are not that big of a problem as medium to large. So now let's go ahead and tackle those. All right, so for the medium pal souls, this one becomes a little bit trickier because there's only one particular pal that's able to drop this pal soul. 
and that is Helsefer. Now, Helsefer is a very interesting character because he is available for you to find him within the map. But once again, we run into the same problem we run into the small souls, which is the fact that he only comes out during the night. Now, the other huge problem that we have is the percentile drop rate that we have of this medium pal souls, which is only 3%. And basically, I've done a couple runs of this and I've found that it is very limited of the amount of medium pal souls you get not only from looking for him at nighttime, but also being able to have, you know, health suffer babies and just pretty much butchering them. It's a big problem because you get a very small percentile of being able to get those medium palisades. So the best way I've actually found to farm medium palisades is you're going to want to go to this section in the map and basically go to this biome. And once you go to this biome right here, which is the 4050 biome, the desert area, just take the route that I personally took here and the main objective that you want to look for when you're doing this is you want to look for gold chests. Now, gold chests are extremely important because those are the ones that are going to give you the medium palisades. Unfortunately, the purple ones do not give you the medium palisades. Me personally, I have never gotten a medium palisade from any of the purples. So you guys are going to have to let me know in the comment section below if you guys have gotten some from the purples. But I've only gotten him from the gold chest. So if you take this route that I'm taking him right here, you will be able to get medium pal souls on the gold chest. Now, what I would suggest is, you know, you don't lose nothing by breathing a health suffer. And you can leave that kind of just rolling around in your base in the meantime while you're doing this run. Because remember, the biggest problem that happens when with through the chest is the fact that unfortunately the chests take a while to respawn. And, you know, you might as well just have two things going at once. Now, the combination I used to actually get a Hill Suffer was using a Gris Bolt with an Ashigon. Now, I have a video on how to actually get these two characters really fast, really easy. So if you're having a hard time picking these up, you could actually just have Gris Bolt babies or Astagon babies, and then it should be a lot easier. So make sure you guys check out my breathing video where it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to breathe these two so you guys could be able to have them to get yourself a Hill Suffer. Now, the thing I would do is just follow the route for the chest, and this should give you about roughly between 12 to 10 uh, medium pal souls within the game to allow you guys to have collect those medium pal souls. You basically just want to do this as the chest respawn every single time. And then you have the additional option of doing the dungeons, killing enemies. But remember, from the enemies, apart from bosses, you won't get anything unless it's a hell of suffer. So now that we got the medium souls out of the way, let's talk about the large souls. Because this is where people are struggling. And boy, do I have a very good news for you guys about this one. All right, so the great news about the large souls, guys, is that unfortunately, there aren't that many places to go to actually get them. And that's actually a good thing because the main objective for this one is for you to be able to just get them 100% of the time. Now, the only place that I've been able to find large souls within chests and within dungeons is the level 35, 50 zone, which is the, of course, the cold area region on the top of the map. And this is where I theoretically have been able to find them, but there isn't that many gold chests here. And that's what makes this a little bit difficult to just do the chest farm. Now, you could theoretically find large souls by killing dungeon bosses, but the best and most effective way, the 100% method, is by being able to breathe an Anubis. Yes, guys, being able to breathe an Anubis is going to be extremely important for you guys because this has an 100% drop rate of you being able to get palsels. Now, like I said in my video, I have a video going over on the fastest way to breathe an Anubis, which you guys are definitely going to want to check out as soon as you possibly can. But the great thing about this, guys, is you're going to be able to get some really good drops, which are bones and large palsels 100% of the time, which are going to help your grind. In addition to that, you also have a 5% chance of getting a technical manual, which doesn't really matter. But the main thing that matters here, guys, is the Anubis. You want to make sure you breathe as many Anubises as you possibly can to be able to get the large palsels. And this is a 100% chance of you actually getting them. What I did is I went ahead and got a Dick Toys and I got myself a Relaxosaurus. And what happens when you put these two together, they make an Anubis baby. And you want to get as many Anubis babies as you possibly can because this is going to give you a 100% probability of you being able to get these large palsels, which are going to be a big time lifesaver for you guys 
as these become very relevant in the end game. You want to make sure you're maxing out your ability of being able to do as much damage as you can, improving the workflow of your base, and just having more health for your pals. And guys, it took a while to put all this together, so I do hope you guys like this information in this type of videos. In addition to that, I highly recommend you watch this particular video, guys, which will show you how to make cake super easy and super fast, which should help you with this particular video so you can have enough cake to make enough babies. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.